everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to do a traveling ring pour on it. As you can see, I have just a very light coat of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed with Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black to give me this uh, gray color. And let's go over the balance of my paints I'm using today. Amsterdam Titanium White. Um, the rest are all Arteza paints. I have Arteza Silver. I have Arteza Bordeaux Red, very pretty deep red color. I have a combination of three of the Artezas. I have Lemon Yellow, Gold, and Yellow Ochre. I just wanted to tone down that very bright yellow, so I just added the other two colors to that. My next color is a green color that is a combination of two of the Arteza colors, phalo green and the pale green. I just added those two. And the last one is a blue color combination again of Arteza ultramarine blue and the phalo blue. My pouring medium today is, I did use the mix, seven parts of the mix, two uh, one part paint, and I did thin with about five drops of water today. Like I said, um, no silicone was used, and I'm going to do a traveling uh, ring pour. And what I'm going to do is uh, turn off my camera and get my cup ready, and then I'll bring you back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I filled my uh, funnel pitcher here today. I decided that that's what I was going to pour with. As you can see, I poured the paint right down the front of the pitcher. So let's get started uh, laying the paint. Again, it's going to be a traveling ring pour. So I think I'll just start here at the top. Just see what we get. And I was careful not to put the Bordeaux red right next to that green. I layered the white in between that. So far the lines look very crisp. And I'm sorry I'm not talking, it's just that I am concentrating here. I think I just will come up a little bit here. Just to finish the paint off. I have a little bit of red yet coming through there. Bordeaux red. Okay. Just going to take my skewer here and I just fix up my lines a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to torch. Just to bring up the air bubbles. And 
and I do have some of the gray paint that I'm going to just lay next to my ring pour here just to help the paint move a little bit. And I'll just spread that out just a little bit here. And I hope you're all having a good day today. Start of a new week. We have a nice sunny day here where I am. Start of our fall season, it's getting a little cooler. Okay, that should be good. Now I'm just going to start with the tipping. And I will go back and forth. And I will try and keep you in camera as much as I can. And now I think of it, I may do a rect ring pour. I'm just going to take my skewer and run it through here a few times. Just to give the eye a little something extra to look at. Okay. Now let's continue with the tipping. And I will get it over this corner first and bring it back. And I'm not too concerned about keeping my line straight here today. Just going to have some fun with it. And now I will try and get it down to this corner. Okay, and I do like what's going on right here. So what I'm going to grab is I have little corner protectors that come with canvases. So I think I'll just try and use one of those. And get this corner. Let's see if I can get the paint to move here. Okay, and now I'm going to push that back. And I, and I do have some negative space there, which is fine. And now I'm going to bring, run the paint down to that corner.
running slower. Okay. Now I'm just going to put it here a minute and take a look at the composition, see what I like and what I don't like. Okay, I am going to run this paint off of this edge. I really do like what's going on there, so I'm going to try and be careful and just run the gray off. Just stretch it out a little bit. Give it another try here. I think I have just, um, just the right amount of paint for this canvas here. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll take another look at it. to pick out a few little things here might just be little blobs of paint but I'm not sure that's what it looks like it is okay just taking another look at it here just run my hand along the bottom and clean it off a little bit and check my corners And I am going to torch it one more time. And I'm not sure how much more the paint will run. But what I'm going to do is try and run a little bit of paint off of this edge here. If it will move. Looks like it is moving, but very slowly. Just stretching out the lines that I have. You can see it is moving very slowly there. Okay, I'm going to take another look at it here. I 
I really do love it up in here. The Bordeaux red line stayed crisp. And you can see layers in here with the mix. Very pretty in here with the green and here with the yellow. That is really, really nice. And I do like that corner over there too. This is very interesting in here too. So I think I'm going to keep it just like it is. Just cleaning the bottom off here a little bit. I think I'll take my popsicle stick here and just clean it off a little bit. I really am enjoying using the mix. I think the lines stay crisp and it does allow you to get different layers coming through. Okay, one more torch and then I will get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody we're back and ready for our close-up off camera I did a lot more stretching to stretch these lines out and it did I think it turned out really really beautiful this is the upper left hand corner and I will bring you down the left hand side and the stripes are just they're very beautiful and crisp in this area the Bordeaux red and the yellow the blue very, very pretty. Just like I said, coming down the left hand side here. And these stripes are pretty nice too. I did more tipping down here on this lower left hand corner. And now we'll bring you up towards the middle here. This is a very pretty area in here. And in here so pretty this is I really feel this is what the mix does with your paints so pretty in here too we'll take you over to the right hand corner and in here you do get the the layers you can see that yellow underneath the red and some white popping through there. Very pretty in here. The red and the blue together. We, we got some purple here. Very nice. This is one of my favorite spots of the whole painting. Very pretty in here. And I like all these squiggly lines in here, too. A lot going on in this painting. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. It's free. And I would really appreciate it to help my channel grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.